Hi guys, this is Shikha and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'll be sharing how to create this minimal glowy skin makeup look. I have done a few makeup videos before, but after that, I found so many new products and I have been absolutely loving them. So I thought, why not just to do an updated makeup routine and talk about every product which I have been loving lately. This makeup look is very, very simple to recreate and it's definitely beginner friendly. If you guys know me, you guys know I love simple stuff, especially when it comes to makeup. I love of simple looks like this. If you are someone who is working from home or you have to go to some kind of meeting or Zoom meeting, it's really, really great. Very, very quick and very simple. So let's just get right into the video. First, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. And now let's get right into the video. Okay, so my skin is all nice and prepped and I have used the same moisturizer from Biopel. Great for oily combination skin. And if you have acne prone skin, definitely recommend this one. For SPF, I used from Eltamed. Again, these two both are medicated brands. They are really nice if you are someone with sensitive skin or like skin with any skin concern, especially if you are someone who is brown, you guys know the struggle. Sunscreen can be like tricky to choose uh, because it can give you a white cast and it can also make your skin super sticky. But this one is really, really great. For concealer today, I'll be using this stick concealer. I'm in the shade Khaki. Super creamy, comes in a stick form as you can see. You just need a little little bit especially towards my inner corner because I feel like that's where I have darkness like I have zits here and there cover those as well also if you want you can totally use this as um, your foundation or a contour you can get a um, darker shade than this and it equally works because the formula is amazing so yeah, you can see it's all nice and blended. It's a little trick here if you are creating a quick makeup look. I feel like using lots of cream products definitely fastens the process because cream products are always easier to blend as compared to powder products. If you don't have brushes, if you don't have your beauty blender, you can totally use your fingers as well. And for this look, I will not be using any foundation because I want this look to be short, simple and quick. So I'll be using this product from YSL. It's like a BB cream or CC cream it doesn't have high coverage but it does provide a little bit of evenness I would say if you feel like you have a great skin and you do not need much coverage you can totally skip that step but if you are someone who wants a little bit evenness I would definitely recommend using a right type of light coverage product because anyway we are using concealer you can spot conceal uh, wherever you need and I'm in the shade NU15 they have a lot of shades so I'm pretty sure you'll find something you can can totally use your fingers um, to blend it and it works really really well the formula is amazing and this one feels like a skincare product a good high quality moisturizer that's how i'll explain the texture blends really really well and this doesn't dry your skin out which i absolutely love even if you are someone with oily to combination skin i have oily to combination skin and i have tested this product out a few days back and i wore it whole day it was there like it started going off after i would say eight to nine hours but it stood pretty long time so yeah really a good one so if you are someone who skipped the bb cream step i definitely recommend including something like this in your routine so this is a powder which has a little bit of coverage has a little bit of color take a little bit tap the excess just go all over my face wherever i need um but i personally do not like to apply it underneath my eyes because as you can see it does has a little yellow pigment um so yeah i feel like it's great for um, your all over face but definitely not for under eyes for underneath my eyes i'll be using this uh, translucent one and if you are someone who is a beginner i definitely recommend checking this out because most of the translucent powder are loose and this is something which comes in a compact format it's a pressed powder so you wouldn't pick a lot of product like i did in this one you don't have to tap here so you just do a little like this and as you can see there is barely any product but if in case you are using a loose powder there are chances is that you might pick a lot of product and then it just makes everything cakey. It's totally comparable to a lot of high-end brands. This one doesn't leave any kind of white overcast. If you are someone with oily combination skin or oily skin, I feel like powder like this is such a must because it does such a good job in controlling the oil. So I'll just use it wherever I get oily the most on my T-zone 
forehead and little bit here moving on to bronzer i'm using this one from nars it's in the shade laguna and if you are someone closer to my skin tone or maybe a little lighter than me i feel like this is such a great great bronzer i didn't get the full size yet but i will definitely be getting one after i am done with this because bronzers can get little tricky especially if you are someone with brown indian skin tone because sometimes it can look ashy but this one is really really nice just go over here just to add add a little bit of depth and as you can see after adding bronzer my face has a little bit of dimension it's not looking totally flat or a blush today 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 i'm using this one from og this is the shade rose quartz and i feel like this is one of my favorite favorite blush again pink blushes can be really tricky when it comes to brown skin but i feel like this one is really really nice and i always like to apply on um, the blush in the upwards motion and as you can see this one added a little flush of color without being overpowering for highlight today i'm using this one from merit this one is in the shade bounce and oh my god it is really really amazing as you can see this is super creamy and yeah it's very very soft if you touch this but i don't want to ruin it so yeah i'll just apply it like this and as you can see this looks blinding but once i blend it it is the most gorgeous highlight ever and blend it and as you can see without putting much effort it's just gone just provides a nice amount of glow which you need and as you can see i'm using my beauty blender for every step and that is the reason why i definitely recommend investing in a original beauty blender because i have been using this one from so long still it's in such a great condition yeah blends makeup beautifully for eyes today i'm using my same bronzer a brush and i'm just gonna go on the crease just to add a little bit of depth and i'll also go over my lower lash line because naturally if you don't have any makeup on there will be shadow beneath your eyes so this one just imitates that and i really like using brown eyeliner instead of black because brown is not that intense as compared to the black so i will just go like so very very light hands and i used eyeliner in half of my eyes i didn't go like in 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 front and that's because i personally feel like if i use eyeliner from the beginning it makes my eyes look droopy and i'll be also using this brush uh, this is the angled brush and this one is from real techniques if you are someone who is looking for um brushes affordable high quality brushes i definitely recommend real techniques i also have one more brush from them this one i have been using it from past 5 years still it's going so strong so i feel like the quality of real techniques is really really great plus they are really affordable i will just try to smudge this and extend this a little forward so that it looks like it's not a separate line from here to here but it is coming from inside but in reality it's not for mascara today i'm using this one from rms beauty it's their straight up mascara and rms beauty is a clean beauty brand and this is the first product i'm trying from them overall mascara is really really good i really like the wand of this one this helps in separating the lashes my lashes doesn't get clumped together and for brows as you can see i have pretty thick eyebrows which is not done proper i need to get them done soon um but anyways i'll be using this one from merit it's their voluminizing brow pomade and this one is in the shade black brown i really like the packaging first of all because it's gold and i love gold and i just like to go over like so um if you are someone who feels like your eyebrow hair moves a lot product like this is really really nice first i like to go towards the end because i don't want much product in the front and i do not do it with a lot of heavy hands because as i said it's pretty thick already i just need a little something here and for lips currently i have on this one from jane ardell it's not a lipstick i would say it's a tinted lip balm maybe if you are someone who is lighter than my skin tone or you do not have pigmented lips it will be a nice pink tint kind of lipstick but for me it is like a tinted lip balm but as you can see it does has a little bit of tint but not uh, much but i really love the formula of this one i'm definitely repurchasing this one i have nothing in here let me show you 
I have completely used this thing up. This is really, really hydrating and I feel like it's really nice for daily use. Honestly, you can totally stop here, but I have a new lip product from Pat McGrath Lab. They say it has a lip shine and I feel like it's a good quality lip balm, but with a lot of coverage. First of all, let's take a moment and appreciate the packaging, like how pretty. This is how the shade looks like. It's high shine, high gloss lipstick. It does provide hydration. It's non-sticky and it does stays put for a longer period of time. So I really, really like it. And I just like to dab a little like so. And as you can see, it's such a pretty, pretty color. For setting everything, you can use any setting spray of your choice. I really, really love this one. I have tried so many others from market, but I feel like this one does such a great job um, in keeping everything in place. I am not using it today, but if you want to, you can use it. All right, you guys. So that was all for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed watching and found this video helpful. Whatever products I used in this video, I will write everything down with their links in my description box down below also don't forget to check my instagram out i share a lot of fashion food lifestyle and healthy mindset content over there and if i um, try any new product i share there first in my story so definitely check it out and let's be friends over there and also i have a really exciting thing happening in next couple of weeks and we are super excited and i cannot wait to share our journey with you i feel like that will be really really helpful for some of you guys so yeah, definitely watch out for that and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.